Today we're trying out the Curl Company products and I am currently getting soaked by my hair, so let's get on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As I said, today we're gonna to be doing a styling routine with the Curl Company products. So I've had these products for a while, I've used them a few times and I've got great results. I realized I haven't shared any videos um, of using them or particularly shown my results all that many times, so I thought today was the day. So I've already been in the shower, I've washed and conditioned my hair. I used the Umberto Janini Banana Butter Shampoo and Conditioner, which are the ones that are in my shower right now that I'm using over and over again, I absolutely love those um, but to style we're going to use we've got the leave-in conditioner there and then we have the styling cream gel and i don't actually think i've used this one before um and this is the anti-humidity gel but actually this has been rebranded since i got this tub and it's now called the curl jelly but it's the same product they've just given it a new name and a new label um so if you're looking for this it's now called curl jelly so we're gonna i think use all three i think we're, we're gonna go with the leave-in first then we're gonna brush gel with the cream gel and then i'm just gonna scrunch in a small bit of the curl jelly anti-humidity gel for just a little bit of extra hold at the end that's the plan anyway and um i want to do a full brush styling routine today i'm just going in with a little bit of the leave-in not a huge amount um, I want to do a full brush styling routine because I haven't really done a full sort of section off brush styling routine for a while. I've been doing my kind of lazy brush styling like I showed in the last video, which was the Curl Smith um, Miracle Shield video. I showed that like super quick lazy brush styling uh, routine, but I want to do a properly section and brush style today. That stuff smells like sherbet. It smells absolutely gorgeous. So it's quite a sweet smell, but yeah, it really does smell like sherbet sweets. Really, really nice. And it's got a lovely slip. So you saw I only used a small amount, but it really kind of goes through the hair like butter. Really, really nice. And I'm just gonna rake that through really thoroughly. And then I'm going to start my sectioning. Something that I do really like about the Curl Company products, and one of the reasons I wanted to make a video on them today, is that they are pretty budget friendly. Um, they're a UK brand, but they do ship internationally. I checked on their website before I started filming, and they do ship internationally. And each bottle of product is around about sort of eight pounds each. So on a par with Umberto Giannini and Naughty, um, that sort of price range. So really good if you're not wanting to spend an absolute fortune. Um, I'm going to try this styling cream gel now. Uh, okay, so it really does look like a styling cream. I wonder if that's too much. Well, we'll soon see. <laughs> oh, okay, but it looks like a cream, but it definitely has more of a gel feel, like it's kind of gone away to nothing on my hands. I'm just going to rake that through this section and I'm going to brush style and I'm hoping this will give me a really good amount of definition using a cream gel to brush style. I find that you obviously you can brush style with just a leave-in or cream in your hair and then scrunch in your gel after and I find that works great but for maximum definition I find that if you use a gel that's got really good slip, um, something with a bit more hold before you do the actual brush styling you just get like even more defined curls. So that's what that's what I'm going for today. So I'm just gonna, I've split it as you can see in two at the back and I'm just gonna take it into slightly smaller sections. You could just do all of that in a one hour, but I'm gonna try a little bit more of a smaller section sort of brush styling today, just because I've not really, not really done it in a while. Well, that doesn't look like much of anything, does it? Let's try this way. There we go, I think that's better. My hair doesn't give the super amazing bouncy brush styled results like instantly when the hair's wet um, as some people's hair does. But it does make a difference um, once my hair has dried, like it definitely has more definition. And not only that, but it also lasts so well. Like spending that extra maybe 10 minutes on wash day does make a huge difference to how my hair then lasts the week um, and how much definition I have and how many days I can wear it down. And I also find when I've done brush styling like this, it refreshes just amazingly, amazingly well. Um, you can just use a tiny little bit of product, maybe a dry refresh or something. And I find that the ringlets just absolutely come back so amazingly. 
So yeah, there's definitely perks to it. But if you really are not into going through your hair in sections on wash day, then look at my last video and see what I did. Kind of like a cheaty brushing, but not brush styling. Okay, so that side doesn't look quite as defined as this side, but that's fine. I have shown this before, but I do find it makes a huge difference. When I take the next section down, I give it a twist before I lay it down so that it's separate from the stuff I've already styled. Um, because otherwise I find you can get a bit tangled and confused, not knowing what bits you've done and what bits you haven't. So that's why I take the next section down in two so that I can kind of grab it and twist it like that. Oh, cream gel again. It did actually not feel like it was overly producty that time. So I think I'll use about the same amount again. And just apply it to those new sections. Obviously my hair, your hair for brush styling, I say obviously, but maybe it's not obvious, but for brush styling, especially like this, your hair does need to be really wet. In fact, sometimes as you go, you might want to add water. So it's handy to have a spray bottle to hand in case you feel a section is not all that wet. Like I'm feeling this section doesn't feel quite wet enough. See how it, it doesn't look dripping wet. So I've just grabbed my spray bottle with just water in. And I'm gonna make sure that section is wetter because if it's not wet enough then you're not going to get that slip for the brush to just slide through nicely and create a lovely defined curl you probably hear my family in the background I don't seem to be able to get a minute's piece at the moment okay if you like do a curl like that and you feel it's not quite as defined as you'd like it you can just give it a gentle finger curl in the right direction okay next one now, let's try this way. Doesn't look like my hair's curly at all sometimes when it's wet, does it? Anybody else have hair like that? Like I brush it wet and you think, are you sure your hair's curly? <laughs> you sure it's not just straight? Okay. This section, again, I'm just going to add a bit more water. I will link my continuous spray bottle um, in the description. It's a uh, one from Amazon. It was really cheap, about seven, eight pounds, something like that. But yeah, works great, I find. Okay. So I'm probably going to speed up the speed up the next little section of the brush styling because it's the same thing over and over. And then I will talk to you again when I'm doing the top layer. So I did just section um, my crown area off and I'm going to brush down my crown area backwards so that it sits backwards obviously so that hopefully the back of my hair um, looks a bit more defined because if I split this in two like I have been and brush style it sideways then it kind of sits like parted at the back which I don't want. So we're down to the top section now and I'm just going to add a bit more water and then I'm going to add my product to this section, a bit extra because this is quite a large section of hair, oh hope that's not too much, <laughs> just really work it through. Actually need a bit more water yet. You don't want your hair to feel at all kind of sticky or like it's 
dragging against your hands. If you're going to, there you go, that's better. If you're going to brush style, you want it to, your fingers to just glide through, sort of, for your hair to feel kind of creamy um, and just really, really smooth. And then you know that your, your brush will also glide through. And that's going to lead to nice definition rather than kind of, rather than stringy curls. Okay, so split that down the middle. Don't worry too much with curly hair about like a really, really defined middle part because um, I kind of prefer a slightly wonky, wobbly part with curly hair. I don't know, I just feel like it, it suits curls a bit more. Go. And then just carrying on like before, going in sections and working from the back forwards. And I know that this side of my hair likes to curl away from my face, so that's the direction that I am brushing it. And with this front section, I am gonna just sort of take that curl up onto the handle, just for a little bit of extra help because that is one of the least curly sections of my hair. Just make sure that that's not too flat to the scalp. Okay. The side, it's dried a little bit already. It's a little bit of a warmer day here today, so I feel like my hair is drying fast. And I do like to give each section of just a general brush through to kind of smooth and distribute before I do an actual, you know, brush curl on the sections. Almost done. If you know that there are certain parts of your hair that tend to um, clump together in sort of mega clumps, you know, that go into one massive curl, which can make you look like you have less hair, less volume, you can focus on doing smaller sections in those areas to try and get those curls to separate a little bit more. Okay, that's looking reasonably good. I feel like it's drying up so fast. I can't actually get over <laughs> how that water is just disappearing. So different products can do that. Sometimes um, that's referred to as flash drying and it's not necessarily like a terrible thing if a product gives you flash drying, but it does mean for, if you're, if you're styling it certain ways, you might need to keep adding water. I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of as I say, it was called the anti-humidity gel. It's now just called the curl jelly. It is a very much of a... Whoa! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> it's a really good gel. I'm just adding a, a small amount. This is a lot more naturally, a lot more slip to it than that. Um, it's a lot of a wetter product than the styling cream gel. So that's a lot easier to just kind of scrunch straight in without almost dropping it all over the floor. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my hands and do this side. <laughs> that was really close. I am just making sure I've got the back. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse this and then um, we'll see what we get. Just before I diffuse, I've got a little diffusing tip for you. Diffusing obviously can take absolutely ages and it can be a little bit mind numbing. So get yourself some wireless earbuds. Um, you could use wired ones, but they might get a bit tangled with your diffuser. Wireless earbuds and stick on a podcast or I listen to Audible all the time, constantly. So um, I'll be listening to my book <laughs> and it makes the time just absolutely fly by. Hi, I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at that definition. Are you seeing this? I haven't looked at the back yet, as always. You get to see the back before me. But wow, it is so defined and it feels lovely. And look how much curl I've got, like in my top layer going all the way, well, almost all the way up to my roots. So the last few washes, it's been a little bit looser at the top and I've not quite known like what balance was off. It's not been bad, it's just not been as tightly curled as this. And uh, yeah, look at the definition, so happy. So obviously part of that is the technique, the brush styling, doing the smaller sections, that makes such a difference, especially this side. Whew. Sorry about that, that's the sunlight, like I'm right in front of my window and it's blinding, so I've not even put my ring light on. <laughs> Otherwise you won't be able to see me, it'll just be a white glow. 
Um, oh yeah, I'm so, 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 so pleased with those results. So, I mean, that's a winning combo, right? That styling cream gel, I'm so impressed with. So impressed. And it doesn't feel producty. I was a teeny bit concerned that maybe using quite a lot of the styling cream gel and then a bit of the gel on the top, the, the, the jelly on the top would be too much, but no, it's perfect. And it just looks, I've got the definition, but it also looks so full. And since my last DIY haircut where I took my top layers a bit too short and just wasn't very happy with it, for the first time in a really long time, I wasn't very happy with the way I did my DIY cut. Um, and it's still irritating me. There's certain things about it that's irritating me, but it's it's settling in now. It was a few weeks ago. This feels like the most good, like overall volume I have had since I did that cut and the ends don't look stringy or anything. Uh, again, like I said, I don't know about the back. But anyway, I am really, really happy with that. As I said before, the, the curl company do ship worldwide. Um, so I'll link their website in the in the description box. If you're in the UK, they also are sold in Tesco and Boots and Superdrag and like they're a really accessible brand in the UK um, and a reasonable price and fabulous, fabulous results. I'm so pleased with those results. Hope you're having a great day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.